ton ami yeah. You're all I see When I close my eyes and dream You're all I see yeah. You're all I need, all I need Hello, something a little bit different on this one and the next few to follow. I'm uh, embarking on a little bit of a walk. I'm uh, attempting to walk the Hadrian's Wall Path from Bowness on Solway to Wall's End, 84 miles, following the path alongside the old Roman wall that was built in about 120 AD or began construction and this is where we begin Bonus on Solway there's a Solway Firth out there Solway Firth yeah and on the other bank over there is Bonnie Scotland this is the starting point for the walk just been dropped off in a cab from Carlisle I think it's going to rain a bit today, but hey ho. So, this is the start. Ave, Ave Maya. Ave Maya used to be what is now Bonus on Solway. And it was the name of the fort that was here, the Roman fort. And this is how it grew at the beginning, look. Wall's End, 84 miles. Good luck go with you. Got the mosaic on the floor. Some information about this part of the walk. So this is me, Bonus on Solway. And over the coming six days or so, hopefully, depending on the weather, all the way to Wall's End. There we go. This is the beginning. It's going to be a tough challenge. I'm not in the best of conditions. <laughs> Physically, but mentally I'm absolutely fantastic. So here we go. On our merry way. Good luck go with you. And off we go. It's a shame it doesn't just follow the coast all the way along. That'd be quite nice. It actually cuts in land along some roads and then through fields and whatever. So I'm now going to make my way to Carlisle. It's around about 15 miles, 14 point blur miles. So uh, solo today. You never know, I might pick up some waves and strafes on the way. You want to uh, walk with me? Got the motor with us. It's parked in Holt Whistle, which is uh, more or less halfway point. So I've got the train today from Holt Whistle to Carlisle. I jumped in a taxi because the bus would have taken forever. I mean, it was long enough in the taxi. Just arrived, just setting off. There's B&Bs here if you want to just stay in a B&B and do it from here, but they're 100 odd quid a night. I paid 23 pounds a night for the Herding Hill campsite. It is lovely. There's a sauna, there's beautiful uh, shower block, heated floors. So I think after today I'll have a long, long hot shower and a sauna. Um, yeah, so we're going this way to begin with. There's a pub up there called the King's Head. I think you can stay there as well the night for well, it's 100 quid as well. So it didn't make much sense. So we're going to do it this way around. 
Hey James Woolpath, Port Carlisle is one mile along the road. So that is the way I'm going. Absolutely brilliant, along the road. So not on the bank, along the road. Although we're quite away from the uh, water's edge and it's upper bank, it actually does flow in look. When the water reaches this point, maximum depth is two feet. On the way in, the driver was telling me that it can come right up, but there's an even wider stretch. I think up by come up by Sands. Uh, we'll see it on the route, obviously, but uh, yeah. So uh, there's all these little inlets, so that's an outlet. But there's um, little channels you'll see, and the water actually comes right the way up. Sometimes it's not a regular event, but when it does. And this is all just marshland. Crazy. Lots of historic places en route, obviously, as you'd expect, following a, a Roman trail. So, uh, some interesting things to see, some things to learn. Looking forward to it. I mean, I've literally only just started, been going about 20 minutes. So it's going to be enjoyable now. Four and a half hours time. See how enjoyable it is. It's going to be amazing. Carpe diem. Now we're in Port Carlisle. And it is raining, but only slightly. This is the little sign you look for. Looking for the acorn. It tells you that you're on the right path. There's a little bit about Port Carlisle. All the information constructed to improve transport links between Carlisle and the Solway coast. The Carlisle Ship Canal turned what was once a scattering of houses into a thriving village. On we go. Right up on the banks now. Onward. Yeah, just, just as you go through Port Carlisle, it comes to a nice little gravel track, nice and level, sheltered by some of the trees. Stop raining, which is good. Starting to get into it now, getting a bit of pace on. I'm hoping four and a half hours today, maybe four. Depends on what we meet along the way. We've got stopping time as well. Stop at look at points of interest. Anything that catches my eye. And of course, to have a bit of lunch. Sustenance, quick snack. I think it's first section that I'm doing from Bur Bowness and Solway to Carlisle is relatively flat compared to some of the other parts. I think in the middle it starts to uh, climb a bit, a few uh, ups and downs, and then as you hit the end, going into Newcastle and Wall's End, I think it's pretty much tarmac path along the waterway along the Tyne. So, looking forward to that part. I can't wait. <laughs> but I'm gonna enjoy all the bits in between. That's what I like to do. OK, 
Keep on walking, boy. So, just cross a little road up this uh, track past the Glendale Holiday Park. I don't think it's open till April, but it looks very inviting. Statics, got a clubhouse. All the entertainment you need for a lovely family holiday break. It's not that way, is it? Um, no, it's not that way, it's this way. Okay. Shame it's not into the holiday park and um, chill out. It looks nice in there, doesn't it? Am I catching that? Yeah. There we go. Hadrian's wall path, grass and half a mile public footpath. Yeah. Oh well. This will do. Avoid the cow pats. This, uh, that was really muddy and boggy along there, but on the edges wasn't too bad. Managed to get through it. Yesterday was the first day of spring, my favourite season. All the little lambies, look at them. Hey, hey. <laughs> See you in a few Sundays. Well, two really boggy fields. Slowed me right down, tough to get over. Got a bit of a wet boot, but not much went in, only on the top of the foot. So as long as I can get on the sole, I guess I'll be okay. I am wearing my thousand mile socks. I hope they can do a thousand miles. I've used them before actually when I walked the London Marathon, so they did me well that time. I said they'd do it again, but wet foot, hmm. Could be, uh... no, it's all right actually. It's, it's barely damp. Anyway, so now we're back on a decent track, which is nice. And uh, I think we're making good time, even though we got held up in the field. It was two big fields, similar to that. And really boggy. So boggy. Oh well. I guess it's to be expected. Still enjoying it. I haven't done many miles, I don't think. Maybe four and a half? Been going about an hour. So probably less than four and a half to pass. Oh well. We'll make up time on the good ground. March on David, march on. This is a particularly long and boring stretch. Yeah, Roman Road, eh? A little flurry of sort of a light shower just now. I think great again. Seems to be holding off, which is nice. The wind though, is really picking up. Quite sheltered at the moment for these trees on the side, I think, but just now, yeah, it was uh, pretty gusty. Right, let's see what's at the end of this road. Hopefully something a bit interesting. We'll see. So we've come through Drumba, and then we're coming to a big open exposed area and it's blowing a right old hoolie. So I uh, don't think I've been filming much along here. I'll just be getting my head down and marching through it. But I uh, met a guy just now. He's going the other way. He's almost finished. So it's taken him five days. It's quite interesting have a little chat. But it did stop me and it did, you know, put me out of my rhythm a bit. So, oh well, keep going. Not long now. There you go. Oh, windy, windy. Right, switch off. So this is uh, Burr by Sands. I guess we're about eight miles in now. Um, the Greyhound Inn, a lot of people stop there for obvious reasons. Um, Burr by Sands, really historic place. A uh, really big uh, historic event happened here. And it's all about this guy. King Edward I, otherwise known as Longshanks, had just battled the Welsh 
and defeated the Welsh and uh, was on his way on his way to um, to battle the Scottish and out of the marshland he became ill and he stayed out of the marshland for a bit and uh, died of dysentery so never got to go there but the church up the road he laid in uh, laid in state there for the first period after his death before transferring to Carlisle before making his way down to London there you go Edward the first Longshanks Blur by Sands so this is St Michael's the church at Burr by Sands and that's where he laid to rest I think for about a month before going to Carlisle and the monument there's a bit of a trek over the field so I'm not going there but uh, I think we might better see it from some point but oh, there it is lovely little village glad the pub's closed <laughs> so just after the church I'm really really glad that we actually go back into the fields because stomping along that concrete has not been very nice it's really paid a toll on my feet wearing these boots would have been a lot better if I'd have had trainers on for that section but there you go feeling a little bit of burn in the old little toes so a bit of compete on them later I thought we could see the monument along here somewhere maybe from down there we can see it I think it's behind here where Edward I actually came to an end met his maker right back on the mud I like it it's not too boggy which is just right softer underfoot give my hips a break because they feel like they've been going through the mill as well my, both my little tootsies feel potential blisters on the way but not quite but you know when they're burning anyway we'll assess that later no drama let's keep going a little bit more of road there was and now through this track along this little bridge heading towards Beaumont spelt Beaumont but I believe it's pronounced Beaumont where well, the wind is certainly picking up again lovely field this nice and soft on the feet oh yeah deserve that uh, a few fallen trees about not from this wind but yeah picking up so we're heading through that kissing gate there the little white acorn signs they're everywhere actually it's really good you you can't really um go off the trail they're really well uh, signed and looked after pushing on i can't wait to see carlisle in the background to be honest That'll be a welcome sight. Never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Oh well. Whew. Should come down alongside the river again soon, I think. Yeah, these are the uh, acorns there's a Hadrian's Wall Facebook group there's a, a guy that's going around he maintains all the signs repairs replaces and he, he makes little acorn signs and if he sees you when you're out on your walk and he's got one on him you might be lucky enough to uh, to get one as a souvenir bit sheltered here nice all right keep going the miles are disappearing beneath my feet I was chatting to the cab driver who dropped me off from Carlisle to uh, Bowness and uh, we passed a, an old print factory I think it is 
in uh, Carlisle. He said that big chimney there is called Dixon's Tower. So I was like, oh, okay. And I can see it off in the distance. <laughs> you won't be able to see it on this camera though. I haven't got the zoom on at the moment, but it's, it's over here somewhere. <laughs> so it's there, I can see it, it's a visual, let's go. It's a visual point. Wait till we get close up. What I'm waiting to see is the castle. What I'm waiting to see is the train station. No, I'm not. The pub, after I finish, with a nice pint of ale. Bosh, well earned. Yes. What's driving you on then, David? I'll tell you all about that later. There is a reason behind what I'm doing. All will be revealed. All will be revealed. Okay. So, due to landslip between points A and B, it's closed. Follow alternative route. Okay, down to Kirk Andrews on Eden. Right. Okay. No problem. We'll go this way first, and then we cut back on ourselves, I think. Kirk Andrews on Eden. St Andrews Well. And then it comes back up, does it? And then you join it again here. I see, yes. Yeah, so you've got to come down to come back up to go across. Okay. Well, we can do that. So is that the opposite way to where I'm going right now? We shall find out. That's also a nice Kentucky sport over there. Lovely. Maybe watches the tour in Troutons. Maybe not. Maybe we'll do. Right, okay, so this is Beaumont. There you go, locally pronounced Beaumont, the beautiful hill. Very nice. So I need to work out I'm gonna go the right way, so I think we'll have to get my phone out. Look at the uh, the app I've been using. So that was the right way. Was it the other way? Is it that way then? Well, it's a T junction. It's got to be this way, isn't it? Well said, David. It's got to be this way. Anyway, Beaumont. This looks lovely. Nice church there. Really nice. Yeah. Roman wall lodges and campsites. Cyclists and walkers welcome. Nice. Probably won't be open this time of year, but I don't need it anyway, so it, yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Cause, yeah, it's this way. Straight down, not left. Well, I think it's usually left. Oh, is this somewhere? No, there's there's another closure, Gisland or something. That's in a day or two. Right, so. Let's see. Must be the new alternative route sign that I can see there. The acorn pointing this way. Yeah, I'm going to say it is. Well, I hope, hope it is. I don't fancy coming back up this hill. It's not a hill, it's just a gentle slope. So the temporary diversion from Beaumont has been well signed. So it looks like we're getting back onto uh, the footpath which should take us onto the original route again. Too much concrete just now again, don't like the concrete. Might have to bring a spare pair of shoes and just keep changing. I might just get on with it and stop whinging. Ah, look, peacock. Wow. Peacocks. Okay. Hello. Wow. Look at that. Weren't expecting to see that. There you go. Is that a rope swing made out of a 
No, oh, tripped up. Don't look at the ropes there. <laughs> look at the floor. <laughs> you don't want to face planting this stuff. Believe you me. Believe you me. Ah. I'm getting a bit delusional now. Right, back on the original this should be. Yes, from here. So this part down the left said it had landslip. Okay. Well, they've done a good job with the diversion, I guess. A couple of extra miles under my belt. Probably an extra half a mile. Don't exaggerate, David. I've told you a hundred million billion times to stop exaggerating. Anywhere road. Back on path. Well, that is boggy. That's a tough one. What's it like on the other side? Yeah, that's much better. No, it's not. Oh, 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 no, it's not. Just keep going. No, it's nice and soft. Feels like I'm walking on marshmallows. All right. Time to concentrate. So, Twonkus, when I saw that, I didn't see that, did I? I just went straight down there. Oh well. Back on track now. I think I was too taken by that. Oh, it's like a little horse, isn't it? There's a rope swing, yeah. So I ended up just going down the edge of that field there and stopping and thinking, nope. So I've come back, corrected it. I just had a few more hundred metres to me journey time today oh well I've got to climb some steps now my hips feel like they're about 75 years old don't grumble David oh, this is lovely really enjoying it oh it's not steps good it's decent slabs but they're very hard again Oh well, we've got the flood to deal with in a minute. I saw a fella earlier tell me about an underpass that you go on that's under two foot of water. So you have to climb up the bank and cross what is a very busy road. So he said just take your time, you have to wait a while till you get a, a gap to cross. Ah, so, happy days. But then he said that's pretty much right by the end and then that's just walking straight into the centre of Carlisle then towards the castle. Yeah, that's where I ended up. Went too far. Went too far at all. Stupid boy, David. Right, keep on trucking. Oh, I thought there were steps going up there, but there wasn't. It was just them concrete slabs across here, stone slabs, and then follow this little stream. And I thought, oh, good. But yeah. There are steps, which is good because it, you know, you know, <laughs> no, I don't know what, yeah, you know, it gets your legs moving in different way that they've done all day. So you go up steps now, it will open up more energy and stretch your muscles a bit more, get things working, move those ligaments and tendons. Still no sign of the castle or Dixon's Tower. I think we're probably three miles, two and a half miles. This is where the old knees start to feel it. Green and pleasant land. Northumberland, England's first county. Whew. Oh, we got over the steps, got up the steps. I've got this lovely little bridge, a cracking house just there. They've got a stone bridge of their own, of their own. Bit of teeth in David. Um, but yeah, look at this nice little bridge. 
we won't see any of the actual wall for a while. Um, a lot of the wall when it was dismantled was actually taken and they use it to build like some of the houses. Brickwork was used with the stones and, and roads and stuff. So yeah, but we will see some as there are areas of the wall that still remain. Um, I will see them in a few days. Sour, sour milk bridge. Sour, ooh, that's not very nice, is it? Sour milk bridge. Up we go. Over we go. This is beautiful. Absolutely loving it. Look at that. Sour milk bridge. Right. Oh, look at the bogginess. 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 The wonderful things that fields possess. Um, I'm going to switch off because I don't want it to be filmed falling over. So, a bit of civilization now. Getting ever closer to Carlisle. We've got a flooded underpass, so we've got to go over it. Across the busy road, that's coming up. And then follow the River Eden into Carlisle. Should be uh, quite straightforward, I hope, once we get across the road that's flooded. I'm pretty sure we go this way. Got some sheepies now. Little lambs. They're not as young as the ones I saw earlier. Look at them. <laughs> They're cute. Wow, well, you've seen better days. It's all right. Don't worry about me. As long as they don't charge at me. But me. Stay on the edge, should be okay. I won't feel any threat. Oh, I can hear that rumble. That is the main road, and that is urbanization. That is Carlisle. And this is the bit that's flooded, so I've got to scurry up that bank and wait for some time to get across these uh, two lanes of traffic. Because that's the bit that's flooded, look. Two foot of water, they say. Should have bought my canoe. I ain't got one. Flood. That's two foot, a little bit straight through and up now. I've got to go up and Wait for the traffic, take my time. Look at that. Oh well. Ooh, up we go. That was a stroke of luck. Straight over. No cars, straight over. So back up to here, and then back down. Continue on the path. Dixon's Tower still seems a quite way away. Not gonna lie. There we go. Around the post. Right, pick up the path. Somewhere. Now we're getting away from the hum of the uh, of the main road out there. Back into nature. Back into the peace and tranquility. Walking alongside a flowing river. Nice. 
bridges and steps it's been for a while now. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? So nice. Under this old viaduct, inching ever closer. Not going to lie, I'm slowing down. Keep taking my hat off. Whew. Head's on fire. The heat coming off of his unreal. Guess it was an old railway. It might even be the railway that put the uh, the port out of business. That port seems ages ago. It was actually like four hours ago. Right. I want to get in that water so bad. <laughs> Not long now. Come on. I can see a train moving over there. It is a freight train though. And there's Dixon's Tower. Hello Dixon's Tower. Long time no see. Almost there now. I think that's the castle. There's the bridge over there. I think that's where I'm going to end and then walk to the station and start again at that bridge tomorrow. Yeah. All in all. Bloody knackering mud boggy diversions big steps little steps but no overall thoroughly enjoyable i'm sure tomorrow morning i'll uh, struggle to move but we'll have to go again and do another 15 16 miles why not yeah so that is carlisle castle there's a uh, it's the Abbey, it's Carlisle of an Abbey, probably it's the city, so yeah, it's the Abbey. And this is Eden Bridge. Now this is my finish point today, although I've still got to walk to the station. <laughs> and then when I get back to Holt Whistle, I've got to walk up the hill to the uh, farm car park that I'm staying at. Sorry, farm campsite that I'm staying. Yeah, you can tell I'm absolutely knackered. So when I get back to Holt Whistle, I've still got to walk up the hill to uh, to the Hill Herding Hill Farm campsite. Although there is a bus, but they're only every two hours. One's at one minute to four, gonna miss that. One minute to six, which means I have to get there and sit around and wait, and then I won't be able to move. Because I need to get in, get in a sauna and uh, have a hot shower and stretch out a bit. Otherwise, my limbs will freeze up. Anyway, that's for me to worry about. I'll feel you when I know it goes tomorrow. <laughs> anyway. It's been emotional. Hey, catch me in day two.